Good morning. just want to wrap up uh, last week and look forward a little bit to what we're doing this week. Um, it was kind of cool to read your uh, portfolio pages and uh, learn a little bit more about you. Certainly we have a wide variety of people, international um, yeah, professional writers, um, people who are just interested. You know, one of the impressions I got from reading these was that clearly this is a group of people who wants to wants to be engaged in this. Everybody seems to understand that they can improve this. And as I've said before, you're going to be starting from different places and getting to different places. But if you apply yourself to the to this and think about the principles that you're reading about, and then try to put them into practice, you will, you will be really, really uh, grateful for the progress that you make. So, um, clearly looking at those, uh, the Word Up book is the one most everyone anticipates reading the most, and um, it's easy to see why. She has a nice conversational tone, and she has a lot to offer. I will tell you, though, that um, uh, Clark has a lot to recommend himself, and particularly as you get farther along, you may be finding yourself wanting to be comforted a little more by his analytical and more structured kind of thinking about this. You know, Clark is actually the founder uh, or father of what is called uh, the coaching movement in modern day newspapers. He works for an organization called the Pointer Institute. And he came along, he helped people come a long way in understanding what editing was, seeing editing as a job of coaching writers, not just correcting writers. And I think you'll find that he has that uh, heart as well. So, um, this week you have an academic paper, and um, it's an essay. Remember that you want it to be um, thesis-driven, and that thesis will probably be, this is why this subject's in, important, and supporting that with, here's some people who say so. Um, but remember that's an assertion, not just it is important, but it's important because that's sort of your thesis. And then the supporting evidence that you provide from some of your reading, maybe three or four sources, that'll be um, to support that idea. Um, so about 500 word, remember this is an academic paper. We're looking for uh, APA citations and um, we do again want to just use the sources that support your thesis this isn't an information dump this isn't just a way to sort of take all the summaries you wrote in your bibliography and put them into one paper this is using some selectively to make a convincing case um, about your topic um, i'll look forward to seeing them and as you know this is uh, a class that depends a lot on peer review so you'll be posting these and then uh, you'll be responding to other people about these things and uh, you need to comment on three or more of your classmates and you need to comment on people's comments who don't already have three so for example if you go and somebody's got three and there's somebody else only has one then uh, come alongside that person and encourage them and uh, Make sure that uh, everyone's included. Uh, encouragement is important in peer review, um, but that doesn't mean you have to lie. So what's also important is being honest about uh, questions that you would raise about in this. And this is not just at the level of proofreading and you forgot a comma kind of thing. Um, this is about things you can't understand or things that might be clear if you had a better example or things like that. That's the sorts of comments you want to make. And then as, as you go back and look at what your classmates have and uh, revise your draft, you don't have to do everything they say. You have to decide what was suggested that's helpful for you to say better what you were trying to say. So don't feel that you uh, have to um, take into account every comment and don't feel like all your comments have to be uh, about mechanical things. They need to be about structural things and, and uh, about 
the idea and how well the idea is supported. Uh, also, then finally, uh, the journals. Um, I start with those, um, but uh, I wanted to point out I didn't use the rubric for grading them this last week. Uh, partly, it, in some ways, it just didn't apply. You weren't doing the, as much of the reading in the textbooks as you will be doing this week. Uh, but I will be looking at it, grading it based on the rubric this week. So make sure you've looked at the rubric, uh, understand what it is that uh, you're you're expected to be doing there, and uh, and work accordingly. I did post an announcement about uh, journals and think, thinking about those journals, so reread that if you need to, and then get started to wade into the books. Uh, particularly, take notes, uh, summarize your thoughts, um, and then think about those things, even as you evaluate each other. Um, you know, it'd be great to see you. In fact, it'd, it'd be important to see you. Um, quoting from the books and other things we've looked at as a way to validate the suggestions that you're making. It'll, it'll help your classmate, but it'll also help you to ferment those ideas in your head, to use them and apply them to your own writing as well as to others. So, looking forward to a good week. Uh, email me if you have any questions. I'm glad to have you all in the class and look forward to seeing how you become a more thoughtful, engaging, and purposeful writer.